welcome to Numato Labs Keycard tutorial part 1. Keycard is an open source software that can be used for schematic entry, PCB designing and related tasks. Keycard is released under GNU GPL license. That means this software is completely free and the designs that you create using Keycard can be used for commercial and non-commercial purposes. Mainly Keycard has three components. The component that is called Keycard itself uh, that you are seeing on the screen right now. This is basically the project manager where you create a new project and maintain your projects. EE schema is the tool that is used for schematic entry. PCB new is the tool that is used for PCB layout design. And CV PCB is the tool that is used for assigning modules or footprints to each component in the netlist. Now let's take a look at how to create a project in keycard and add schematic and design layout files to that project. To create a new project, go to the file menu and select the new option or click on the start a new project icon on the toolbar. When you click this button, Keycard will ask you to enter a project name. In this case, I am going to use Project 1 as the project name. Now type in the project name and click Save. Now as you can see, a new project called Project1.pro is created. To add a schematic sheet to this project, go to the main toolbar and click EE Schema button. EE Schema is the tool that is used for schematic entry. And when you click this button, you will be presented with an empty schematic sheet where you can draw your schematics. To save the schematic file, click the save schematic project button and now we will close the schematic and go back to keycard the main interface and do a refresh you can see a project1.sch schematic file is added to the project same way to, to add a pcb design file to your project Click on the PCB new icon and you will be presented with an empty board. You can click on the save board button to save the board file. Go back to the project manager interface that's keycard and do a refresh. A new project 1.brd file is added to the project. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We will take a look at how to place component symbols in the schematic sheet and wire them together in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.